All right, that was our monthly special, but they've brought me outside. It is a beautiful day here in Florida, and I know that the weather is coming to you that's gonna bring you that ray of sunshine that's gonna get you outside, but the problem is a lot of the things that you wanna use outside are stuck inside that garage, and they might have deflated. Might be your bike tires, it could be your pool floats, it could be actually the vehicle that has been sitting in your garage. Maybe you had a snowstorm and you go and you see that light and you're like, okay, how do I get to the gas station, find the coins? We're going to give you something that's going to be very helpful, very handy in an emergency situation, also in those everyday, everyday life situations. It's from Airhawk and it is the Pro Cordless Air Compressor, a true air compressor. Here's what you're gonna get today. Now, I personally own this. So I'm very passionate about it, so you have to forgive me. But you are gonna get the actual com air compressor with all the tools on board, including the different pins, a carrying case with the rechargeable battery to go along with it because it is completely cordless, compact, easy to use. You're gonna have this with you at all times. Maybe you keep one in the garage, you keep one in your car. You love this so much, and I'm so happy to be a part of this number right here with over 68,000 Airhawks that have been sold in the last year. That's just one year. So that's a full four seasons. I'd love for you to be a part of our show. Give us a call. Tell us how much you love your Airhawk, because now as we go into the spring months, we are thinking about riding our bikes, taking our scooters out. Maybe you're doing gardening. Maybe there's all sorts of things. Taking the Jeep out. We're going to get you covered with the Airhawk compressor. Luca Caputo promised me he was not going to leave me I promised out you. here by myself. Man of my word. And I love that you're a man of my word. And I also love the reliability of the power and the compact and the wireless. Right. Rechargeable air compressor. The other thing I promised you was free air. Thank you. And yes. here's the thing. The reason I say that you get free air is because when you have the Airhawk, you don't have to go to the gas station to fill your tires anymore. Once you buy this, the air around us is free, and that's what this uses. Now, this might look like a cordless drill, with good reason, though, because it does have the rechargeable battery on the bottom right there, okay? Um, this is a real compressor. It's not an inflator like you get with your air mattress, which is something just has a fan that blows air gently, okay? Okay. This actually has a piston inside of it. It draws the ambient air through the back. It goes through the piston. It compresses that air, and it comes out under force. On the back of this, there is a digital pressure gauge right here. So the cool thing about this is you can actually put in the pressure you want this to fill your tires to. Meaning, if it's 35 pounds, you type in 35 pounds using the plus and minus buttons right there. When it gets to that pressure, it stops itself automatically. On the front of it, LED light right there so you can see what you're working on, especially at night if you're on the road and you want to fill your tires. And then all your accessories stow right here on the base. So you're never going to lose anything. Let's fill up this basketball. I want to show you how this works, okay? So we're going to come down here to the table. So the hose comes out like this, it stores on top, and you screw it into the front. And the reason that you screw it on here is because it's under pressure. Like if it were just a click and a turn, it might pop off. This is going to keep it in place. Same thing goes for the accessories. They screw on the front. I'm gonna put the needle adapter on here. And this is what you're gonna to use to fill, you know, baseball, uh, baseballs, listen to me, footballs, basketballs, anything that has air in it, not a baseball, okay? Not baseball. Stick this into the basketball. Though. You could try, give it a shot, see what happens. All right, here we go. Now watch how quickly it goes from flat to full in just a couple seconds. Now when, it, when it's a ball, there we go. When it's a ball or something like this, you don't really set the pressure oh, you for it. You just fill it to do well, yeah, yeah, to feel. So you can see that one did a really good job. Now, mm -hmm. here's another scenario. Let's say that you go to the beach because that's going to be happening soon, okay? Let's and go. you park your car <laughs> and it's like 100 yards to the water, okay? And you get down to the water side and the kids look at you and go, can you please blow this up, okay? <laughs> always happens, right? So instead of dragging everything back to the car, what you're uh -huh. gonna do is take this other inflator tip. And these are included, both yes, tips are included. Absolutely, and they still on board. We're gonna screw that on now, and what I'm gonna do is, watch this, we've got this ring toy here, okay? Now this is the kind of thing you look at and you go like, oh yeah, no, I got this, yeah, this is easy. I could do okay? that. Okay, until you get about mm, five or six breaths in and you go, you know what, this thing is actually really big. And watch how quickly the Airhawk is gonna blow this up from flat all the way to full in just a couple of seconds. And it's dimensional. This is the part where you start to panic. You go, oh my God, what did uh -huh. I get into here? But with the Airhawk, this is not an issue. So I'm not gonna be dizzy. 
I'm not going to be out of breath. Oh. And we're done. And here's that the quickly. thing. It does it 100% capacity. Yes. You might get halfway through. That float's not going to be used at 50% <laughs> capacity. But the air hawk is always going to be able to be reliable. When I tell you, yes, it is about the fun. It is about being the team mom and getting the kids outside and using the pool float. But if it's just for that one emergency situation, I cannot stress enough how this has saved my morning. I was running late for work. I was running late for work. And I got into my car. Uh -huh. And it said my air pressure was of course it did. was low. Now you're talking about when I was trying to get up for work at like two, three o'clock in the morning. Right. There's no way you could pay me to find a gas station that's going to be open that's going to actually have the air working with a pressure gauge that works. With the pressure gauge. Good luck there. And I've got to find the coins to do it. And yeah. I'm by myself and I'm a woman. Right. So what did I do? What did you do? I pulled out my air hot food compressor in the privacy of my own home in right. my garage. I set the PSI. I walked away. Got my bag. How I came easy? back. My car tire was full. Yeah. There we go. Very simple. Well, and so we're going to be going outside because spring is like March 20th, so it's just around the corner. And this tire is flat. So if you want to go for a bike ride, this is not going to cut it right here. You're going to have to go to the gas station with this, right? No, wrong. You've got your air hawk. I don't care where you are. Now, we've already preset the pressure for this tire using that digital gauge. So if I turn the air hawk on, we've already preset the pressure. There's a trigger on the front of this. I'm going to pull the trigger just like that. And guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to walk away. And the reason oh, yeah. I can do that is because the air hawk has got this for us. So that bicycle tire is filling and it just filled. Wait. That I, was it. I hardly got over here before it was completely and done. And it was done. Yeah. Because bike tires don't have a lot of pressure in them unless you're using a hand pump. And then it's a lot of pressure. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of a pain. And, you know, speaking of which, so this is what we normally do is we got a bike pump like this. And I want you to listen to the force and power that comes out of this. Ready? You hear that? Yeah. Does that sound like that's, that's going to do pitiful. a great... It's pitiful, right? It's very sad. It's kind of a sad whale sound. But th this is the kind of thing that most people use. The air hawk, much better, much faster. Can Foot I, pumps. Can I just stop you for Go. one second? You may. So you can I, try. I, I'm at my new place. I don't know my neighbors yet, right? Yes. So I see a mom and a daughter. Yes. It's a nice, beautiful day out. She pulls out the bike. Literally, this happened. And I'm standing there watching. They pull out the bike. The tire is completely flat. She pulls this out. I'm watching her. Here, and then the what happens? For you. It didn't work. And so the little girl, she starts, she she gets excited and she sits down and then she's just like, then she's on her phone. Then she just goes inside while mom right. is like, ah. She lost her. And, so, and that was it. The moment was gone. Yeah. There was no bike riding happening. She totally lost her. Well, I mean, and people use other pumps. I mean, there's foot pumps, right? Yeah. This is a great aerobic workout. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to fill the tire, but it's a great aerobic workout. I used to carry one like this one. They feel Ugh. this thing. This thing compared to the air hawk. No. <laughs> See, Thank you. It's oh, like a you. brick, but it has to be plugged in all the time. So you're not taking this camping. It's not going hiking with you. You're not bringing it down to the shore with you when you're at the beach. The air hawk travels really well. In fact, this is what it looks like when it's inside the case. So you can see everything's in here. The battery's in here. The air hawk's in here. The recharger's in here. There's even a piece that gives you a cord if you do need to plug it in. Now, it's the time of year where we're going to start going out and we're going to start working our gardens. Let's go to the wheelbarrow we have in front okay. of us here because this wheelbarrow is metal, it has 70 pounds of rock in it. Hmm. Here's the thing about wheelbarrows. You never know the tire's flat until you load them up. You know That's what I mean? True. And then, so if you don't have the air hook, what are you doing? Unloading it, you know, taking the metal wheelbarrow in the back of your car to the gas station, spending $2 to fill one tire, right? Yep. Then you come back home. You've lost 45 minutes an hour plus two bucks, okay? With the air hook, remember, air is free. We've already preset the pressure for the wheelbarrow in here. So I'm gonna pull the trigger and I'm gonna get up and move away. And we're going to let the air hawk do its thing. And what's going to happen is, not only is it going to fill the tire, it's going to lift the metal wheelbarrow. Wow. It's going to lift 70 pounds of rock at the same time and fill that tire. Now, in the meantime, I can be doing all kinds of other things on my project. I don't have to be sitting there babysitting this. And the big deal for me is I don't have to load that thing into my truck mm -hmm. and take it. And if you're somebody that works in a trade, this is a great thing to have, especially if you're using wheelbarrows, trailers, hand trucks, anything like that that has you know, pneumatic tires on it. You definitely want to have this. But I think, ladies, this is a must-have. Yeah. You have to get it into your car. You have to have it as part of your emergency kit. If there's a college student or a new driver, it is part of what you need. 
It's a no-brainer and it's an air compressor. So it has that power, the portability, the compact size, rechargeable battery, everything stores on board. And one of my favorite things, because you guys know I'm super OCD and organized, it has a bag. So it's all composed done. right here, storage. That wheelbarrow is done. Ding. Again, I didn't yep. even get to finish my statement. No, I, there you go. Well, see, it's that's like, it's showing it me up. It's like, it's, it's upstaging me right now. <laughs> and me. So here's the thing. <laughs> a lot of times when you have a wheelbarrow, bicycle, anything like that, you go to a gas station, what yeah. happens? Sometimes the pump doesn't work. Right. Sometimes you don't have change. Sometimes the, those two things, you've got them, but guess what? They don't have a pressure gauge. So you carry one of these. I carry one of these with me, um, and I can't tell you the last time I used it since I got the Airhawk, but here's the thing. I can't read the numbers on this anymore, okay? And it's it's because I'm getting old, but it's also um, very, um, it's analog. That's what I was looking for. The Airhawk is digital, so when you put in a pressure, you're not looking at this guessing. Is that 30, 35, 31 pounds? What is that? The Airhawk knows exactly whatever you put in it, and it's important that you fill your tires to the right pressure so that you get the best mileage yeah. so that you're driving safely and so that you don't wear out your tires fast. Now, let's go over to the Jeep let's over here because I want to show you. Because typically what happens is you get in your car, the light comes on, and you drive around for a couple days because you're like, eh, you know, it's only a little bit low, okay? This is a bad idea for all the things I listed, okay? Mileage, safety, wear and tear on the tires. Um, but you know what? Sometimes you're in a position where you can't get to an air pump mm -hmm. or you can't find an air pump. When you've got the air hawk in the back of the car, anytime that light comes on, you're ready. Now, I know for a fact we uh, took about five pounds of air out of this tire. Okay. Because typically the sensors go off five to seven pounds low, all right? So we've already preset the pressure, 35 pounds. Here's what we're going to do. Pull the trigger, and guess what I'm going to do? I bet you're going to walk away. I'm going to walk away. I'm I walking walk away. I'm walk away, too, then. This is me. We're walking. We're, we're walking. Because we don't... <laughs> Not babysitting it. <laughs> because we don't have to babysit it. So you could be doing all kinds of other things. But yeah. at the end of the day, if you're one of those people when that light comes on, you ignore it because yeah. you abhor going to the gas station and having to do that. Now you don't have to. Yeah, and I, the, the thing is, it's a digital setting. Right. So it's the, got the digital. You just set done. the PSI. It's done. Again, I keep getting upstaged. Upstaged again. Done. This, is, this air compressor <laughs> is really just challenging me this morning. But I really encourage you to get it home and try it. And if yeah. you just keep it for your emergency situation, it's great. But you will use this. You'll be that savior in the neighborhood, the team mom, the sports equipment, the pool floats, air mattress. You know, if you have guests coming up and you have kind of a manual air mattress, you'll be able to blow that air oh, mattress yeah. up in seconds. This is an air compressor. Remember, it is powerful. It is compact. It's also completely cordless. That's that digital display. So you set it